Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. All those kind of things like staying safe, taking care of yourself, and I hope you're having fun editing your photos. Do you ever feel like you're just getting in a groove and just kind of hitting your stride with a, uh, you know, a, like a software product or a camera or anything where you feel like, you know what, this is my thing. I'm just kind of getting it done. I feel that way right now about On One. I've been doing lots of videos about it. I'm really getting in the groove. To be clear, I've been in the groove with Luminar for a long time and I love it and I'm gonna keep doing that. But when you learn something new and you pick it up and you feel like you're kind of getting in the mood and kind of getting in the groove, it feels good, my friends. It feels good. So that's kind of what I'm doing today. I'm in On One. I've got a photo and I'm getting to where now I know what tools to use to do the things I feel like I want to do or need to do to a photo, just like I do in Luminar, right? I look at a photo in Luminar, a photo in Luminar to be a little bit more clear. I look at a photo in Luminar and I'm thinking, okay, I can do this and that and that and I can just go get it done. I'm getting that way with On One. Now I got a ways to go. There's so much in On One and I'll never cover it all to be honest because there's so much, but I'm getting there my friends and the journey is half the fun, maybe even more than half. So today I'm editing in On One as you can tell from that lengthy diatribe. I've got this photo here. It started out like that and so far I'm in the develop uh, pane here and the develop, or I should say tone and color pane on the develop tab. I say develop module half the time, that's Lightroom talk, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, I've done a few things, as you can see, a little bit of contrast, put on the highlights, adjusted midtones and shadows. I took the temperature down, added a little bit of tint here, and I added a little bit of vibrance. So one more time, started like that, I did crop it, I took out, I think, a spot or two. That's what it started like, and that's where I am after a couple of seconds in the develop module. But this is where the fun begins. Now. If you uh, saw my recent video, which is right there, that was where I was talking about local adjustments. I'm gonna pop over there, and that's kind of the routine I'm following here, which is one of the routines I talked about in that last video, which is develop tab, and then local adjustments, and then come back to effects. That's what I'm doing here. Let's get started with this local adjustment. The first thing I wanna do is brighten this thing, and to be clear, I'm gonna be working on the water. So um, as you probably uh, already know, if you use on one or you learn in that video, as you make adjustments to the sliders here before you do a mask, nothing happens. It would theoretically apply globally, except it's not applied. So what happens is nothing happens until you use the mask, which is kind of nice. It actually allows you to kind of do the things you wanna do here and then go mask it in or what's probably a smarter thing to do, mask it in and then go make the adjustments. Um, I'm a little weird, so I went in here and I knew I was gonna take this structure down, so I just took it to a negative 100. I took noise down as well, and frankly, there's so much here in this um, local adjustment that you can do. It's just, uh, it's pretty awesome. As I said in that last video, it kind of replicates what you can do over here in the develop tab. Gives you a lot of uh, different options, which is really cool. So anyway, I've done that. I'm gonna take the temperature down. I'm gonna make it a little bit cooler, so like a negative 10 or so. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of vibrance, like a 10 or 11, because you know what? I like my color, I can't help it. So this is where you get into the masking. I'm gonna, uh, you know, you can click on there to view the mask and that sort of thing if you want, but I'm just gonna get uh, I'm in paint in mode and I'm gonna get this one, which is the gradient mask. So I'm actually not in paint in mode, sorry. I clicked over here to get the adjustable gradient and I'm linear top. And now it's a little confusing sounding sometimes because that masks out the top and it masks in the bottom. You can see the picture to the left where it says uh, linear top here. The black is on the top, black conceals, and the white is on the bottom, white reveals. That's definitely what I want. I'm gonna drop this in here. I'm gonna tilt it a little bit and I'm just gonna kinda have a play until I get it right. I'm gonna do something maybe about like that. So you can see over here in the masking window, if you view the mask, you can see white reveals, black conceals. So everything I just did is revealed where it's white. Let me turn that off. Let me close the masking window and now let me just turn this off. If you look at the water, there it is before, a little darker, not as vibrant, a little rougher, the sea seas. Uh, the river, this is the River Liffey, by the way, in the lovely city of Dublin. God, I love that town. Anyway, so there you go. That's what it looked like before. After some smoothing, some brightening, blah, 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 as I did, boom, that's where I am now. So I'm happy with that. That was my focus. I'm now gonna go get another local adjustment. And this one is gonna be a luminosity mask. I am gonna drop the exposure part of the way. So about like that, 
I'm gonna bump the midtones just a very slight bit. I'm gonna give it a little bit of tint, which is about a five or so, and I'm gonna give vibrance of about 30. And as I said, this is a luminosity mask, which by definition is gonna apply to the brighter parts of the photo. So I click lumen, it's done automatically. I love that. It's so powerful. Luminosity masks, they used to scare me, my friends. Uh, literally, I was like, yeah, that just sounds scary and technical and I don't understand it. It's so easy. You just click lumen and boom, it applies a mask based on light values. I'm in the gray version, right? I'm in this view mode, the, the gray and white and black and all that. White reveals, see, I'm trying to get it straight. White reveals, black conceals. So the edits I made here are being revealed where it's white. They're being concealed where it's black and where it's gray. They're getting a slight adjustment. So I like that for um, masking, luminosity masking that is, it's just fantastic. So what I did here, bumped, uh, or excuse me, took the exposure down just a little bit, bumped the midtones a tiny bit, bumped the tint and the vibrance, mostly to apply to the sky is kind of what it is. So if I turn this off, you look at the sky, there it is before. And of course the reflection is getting affected too because there's some bright parts there. That's what I did. I just adjusted the sky with a luminosity mask. Let's get another adjustment here, a local adjustment. And this time, I'm gonna bump the exposure about a 0 0.5. I'm gonna pull structure up about a 25, something about like that. If you can't tell by me adding structure, if you know me and my style, I'm gonna be working on the buildings here. I never add structure to water or clouds. I usually remove it from them. So this is gonna be an adjustment to the building. I'm gonna give it a little bit of warmth um, on the temperature and a little bit of vibrance as well. I don't wanna overdo it, but um, I do wanna go mask that in. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, you, you can click there to get into masking if you want. I don't need that. I'm gonna get over here, click on the brush, and I'm gonna get this perfect brush. And I've done videos about that. If you wanna check those out, you can see that up there. But now that I've got my brush, I'm gonna increase it a little bit. And all I'm gonna do is just kinda go over here and give it a little bit of bump, something about like that. Just trying to give it a little extra kick of golden, uh, kinda golden hour, for lack of a better word. Just a little bit of a bump there. That is too big. Uh, I'm gonna do that, you know, I don't know, something about like that. The perfect brush comes in super handy here because it's uh, it's kind of perfect for a lot of these things where you're trying to do some uh, masking without really going over the edges. You can always click on your mask, come over here, touch things up if you need to. Uh, this is not a full tutorial. I'm kind of going fast, so I won't dive into that there. But basically what I did is I bumped up the structure and the brightness, that golden kind of warmth on the building. So if I turn it off, there it is before, and there it is after or uh, current. Uh, in fact, I might actually pull that down to one uh, instead of two. I don't want to overdo it. Just want to give it a, a little bit of bump there just to bring it to life. The, set, uh, the sun was setting kind of over there. It is shining on it. I'm just trying to give it a little extra kick of that sunshine so that um, it pops a little bit in the photo. Okay, so, so far we did the develop tab over here and we did some basic stuff as I showed you. And then we use local adjustments, uh, three of those to go get some things done. Now I'm gonna go into effects and add a couple of filters. The first one I'm gonna start with is tone enhancer. I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast, like a five or a six. I'm gonna take the highlights down ever so slightly, like an eight or a 10, and I'm gonna bump the shadows up uh, a light bit as well, like maybe a 17, 18, something about like that. Let me show you how that's impacting the photo very slightly. There it is before, there it is after. I'm actually gonna leave it like that. The uh, All the different filters, you can mask them in if you want to. I don't want to, I wanna leave it like that. I'm gonna apply it globally. And then I'm just gonna wrap it up with a LUT. And the, there's a lot of LUTs, that is not one that I want. Um, I wanna go into color grading. And the one I wanna get is called Comfort. So there it is. And there it is applied to my photo. So let me show you that. And once again, um, well there's the before. And there it is with the LUT. I think the colors matched up pretty nicely. It gave a nice pop to some of those areas that I adjusted and I think accentuated some of that kind of magenta kind of look to this kind of golden hour photo, but there it is before, and there it is after. And that felt like a nice finishing touch. I don't use LUTs all the time in my editing, but sometimes they come in really handy. I felt like this was one of those times. If you ever wanted to look over here on the right-hand side, there are tons of different LUTs, and you get the hover to discover kind of thing where you hover over it, and it shows you what that LUT will look like on your photo. 
I, I got to comfort and I was like, that's perfect. I mean, that's pretty much what I was trying to do is just pop a little bit of those colors. So one more time, there it is before and there it is after. Adds a little bit more contrast too. If you decided you wanted to undo some of that, you could go back to Tone Enhancer, pull down some contrast if you wanted to, maybe bump the shadows a little bit more just to further kind of control the light in the photo. And that's why Tone Enhancer is so great. I use it quite a bit. It's a fantastic filter comes in really handy, but that is my edit. Let me show you the before and after. I started like that, and again, I've already cropped it prior to starting this video and took out a few spots, but other than those two things, it started like that, unedited, and after some work in the Develop tab, and then three local adjustments with masks, and then two filters being applied globally, I came to that. I like it. I think it's looking good, and as I said, I'm kind of getting the feel and, and the, the understanding of what to use and when and how in on one. I'm no master. I've got a long way to go. I can always keep learning and I'm going to keep learning. And frankly, that's one of the reasons I make videos, my friends. A little secret here. I make these videos because I'm like, well, if I'm going to make a video about that, I want to make sure I understand it. So I go and I learn it and I learn it and I learn it and then I make a video. So um, it helps me kind of learn and reinforce my knowledge of the product. And frankly, this is fun. So that's uh, that's this one, my friends. One more time. Here's the uh, the original. That's what it looked like. Kind of boring. And I was like, I want to pop the colors. I want that kind of magenta kind of cast. I want to get some detail in the right places, remove it from the wrong places or whatever. And uh, I ended up with that after a few minutes in on one. That's the power. That's the fun. That's all the control and stuff you can have with on one. Hope it helps. Hope it gives you some ideas. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyway. Hope you're doing well. Take care of yourselves, my friends. Have fun editing. I'll see you in the next video. And adios.